Hi. Welcome back. Um, uh, I still have my retainers in, obviously. I've been asleep. Wow, this is pretty raw. So, fun facts. I actually woke up this morning at, well, I set my alarms. My mission was to get out of bed far off seven. Um, cause I just like waking up early. I like, you know, having like a long morning. Um, so I set my alarm for half seven. Actually, I set one at seven, seven o five, seven nineteen, seven twenty two, something like that. But now it's eight thirty six. I've basically just been um, lying here on Instagram, which is pretty sad. But now I'm finally ready to actually get out of bed. Um, oh, blue sky. See, this is what I love about this room. I'm just lying here, and I can instantly see what the weather's going to be today. So look, boom, blue skies. Look at those beautiful baby blues. It's beautiful, right? I'd love that on my nails, that colour. Hmm. Also, fun fact, who else sleeps with their blinds open or like their curtains open? Because I re also, if you spot any dirty marks on my pillow, it's because they're literally orange because of, actually, it's a my team these. No, she hasn't cleaned them yet. <laughs> what time to do that today? Yeah, who else sleeps with their blinds open? Because I have to. I think the, most people sleep with their blinds, like their curtains closed. But I have to sleep with them open. Because if I sleep with my blinds closed, then, like, the natural light is what helps me get up. If I, like, for example, when I sleep at my boyfriend's house, he has to sleep with the curtains closed. And literally every time I'm like, no, leave them open. Because then every morning it's like half nine, ten, and I'm still, like, I'm just waking up. But then I, say if I usually wake up, I'll probably wake up, like open my eyes at like eight o'clock, but it's pitch black in the room. So I'm thinking it's like three o'clock in the morning, so I just go back to sleep. And then he's like, it's 10 o'clock. And I'm like, fuck, it's because the blinds were closed. So look. If you struggle waking up in the morning, keep your blinds open because natural light really helps you get up. Well, I think it does anyway. Why do we have that conversation? But it's and it's nice as well. Like let the light in. Like let, let the sun in. The sun's here to be seen. The sun's here to shine. Anyway, so welcome to vlog day. Th welcome to vlog day three. Welcome to vlog week day three. I am about to get up. What am I doing today? Oh, I'm going for dinner with my work friends tonight. I'm really excited for that. It's going to be really nice. We have some tapas. Tapas and a gossip. Oh, Fiona wants to make flapjacks today, which is fun. Being all domestic. Domesticated. Um, I was going to go to the gym this morning, but I'm just not in the mood, to be honest. I'm just not in the mood. So... Maybe I won't go. I'm not feeling the most motivated. I know Chintzia gave her whole speech the other day about how she was so motivated to get healthy again. And I was watching it like, I just can't relate. Like, I'm just not in that mind frame right now. Maybe I will go to the gym today, maybe I won't. I try not to put too much pressure on myself. Maybe I'll go later on. But I just don't feel in my bones like I'm gonna be going today. Also, look how cute is this? I found my old phone. <laughs> I found my old phone. And um, I turned it on the other day and I found all these old pics. Look how long my hair used to be. I mean, ignore the pics, like they're not nice pics, but look how long my hair used to be. So sad, right? Definitely gonna grow my hair out again. Gosh, I had a whole selfie taking session here with this hat on. I never posted them. It's kind of sad. Oh my God, Miami pics. I miss that Miami trip, that was so fun. <laughs> Look at me and Jinsu posing in our robes, robe life. So bougie in a Miami hotel. I could literally look through here for hours. Love you, Jason. What the fuck? Was that all it was? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I miss those days. I really do. <laughs> what the fuck? 
I never do Snapchats in club anymore. So I always forget. What now? <laughs> oh, we used to have the best time. Oh, I wish we could do this every weekend. We had so much fun. Oh. Oh, I'm so glad that I've got all of these. What was it with this angel filter? We absolutely hammered it. Who was that? Not a clue. That was a fun little night out throwback. I'm going out on Friday, so I'll bring the camera and I'll try and vlog because my work friends are really fun on nights out. So they're just, it gets, sometimes it can get a bit messy. Like last Friday, I went out with some work friends and I literally, uh, I think that's the most drunk I've been probably in my whole life and I don't even know how it happened. I was just having the best time ever. Oh my God, this was the funniest weekend of my life. So um, one of my best friends, Alfie, he's got a best friend called Jacob. So me and Chintzia went to go and see Alfie and Jacob in, <laughs> in Liverpool. And who remembers? Does anyone remember this? Where Chintzia literally poured Alf vodka <laughs> all over Alfie's eyes. <laughs> Oh my god, that was literally, look at him afterwards, wait, just watch that again. <laughs> that was literally the funniest moment of my entire life so far. That was literally the funniest moment I've ever experienced and I don't even know why. Oh, this was the best night ever, guys, this really was. Here's me and Alfie, who you saw on Monday? back in our youth. Gosh, Alfie looks so glam. So young. Gosh, my eye is watering. I'm literally crying. What? Some of these videos are so embarrassing. I would show you, but I literally can't. <laughs> oh, here's a picture of Coco with a cone on. <laughs> it's bigger Oh. <laughs> oh my god, she was so big. Oh, I forgot how big she was. Okay, this is probably getting very boring now. So, god, this is meant to be a two minute clip. Yeah, I'm gonna get up now, start the day, and let's have some fun. Guten <sighs> Morgen. To Le Monde. <laughs> Hello. So, it's the morning. I'm gonna show you how I make my protein shake. This is my new recipe, which is Michelin starred. So, I thought I didn't have any frozen bananas left, but it looks like I have a, a little smidge left, which I'm very excited about, because I thought I was gonna have to do this without frozen bananas. So what we're gonna do, grab the Nutribullet. Also, what we're doing today is going to town with Soph and I'm gonna buy myself a new protein powder, not that horrible one that I'm using, and I'm gonna get van vanilla. But I have a feeling that at Holland and Barrett they only have that Vega brand, which is vegan. So, just give me five minutes. So I might have to get the Vega one in vanilla and risk it, but I'm definitely not getting this chocolate flavor again because it is pretty bad. I've actually used the whole tub, you know? Wait, so which one's that one from? This is from Holland and Barrett. Did you buy that new? I bought that, yeah. What, a couple of days ago? No, like literally like two months ago. And which, which, which new one did you buy? I haven't bought a new you one. Bought a new one That's why I'm buying a new so one you today. Want mm. right. I want vanilla, so it's more vanilla ray. Because I want to do vanilla. Oh, I want to do vanilla with um, strawberries and blueberries. That'd be nice. Because you can't really put chocolate powder with strawberries and blueberries. Also, that chocolate doesn't taste like chocolate. Yeah, it's not nice. That's why you need the frozen bananas. So that is 
It's not even a full banana. A tiny <laughs> banana. Right? So I'm actually also going to improvise here and add half of a normal banana as well. Just so that I can cut the taste of that horrible chocolate flavour and make it creamy. But this is going to throw off the texture. So just bear that in mind. If you're going to go ahead and make this, you need a lot of fresh. So I, ideally, I'd like that all to be frozen banana. But, you know, beggars can't be cheesers. And today we're improvising. Almond milk. Ideally, I'd like unsweetened, but again, this is what Angie bought. We can't complain. Give it a good... This is the blue diamond one. We grow our own almonds. That's great. So, probably up to about... There? Yeah, that was me. And then, I don't do a full scoop of this, because as I said, it's not very nice. So like a mediocre scoop and then maybe like a little splash more i literally abused this whole tub that is incredible i'm actually i'm proud of myself for using it because i thought i was gonna have to literally put it in the bin as soon as i bought it because it was that gross i'm also just gonna add a bit of ice because we don't have um all of the frozen bananas today do we so this is my breakfast i've Stopped having chocolate oats for the meantime, just because I'm enjoying this and it feels lighter. Like sometimes after the chocolate oats, I feel a bit, a bit too full. Sometimes I'm going. Sophia's picking me up at eleven. I'm going after. I'm going at like half five. Where are you doing? I'm going to see some viewings. We're going to viewings. Okay, so this isn't like the, this is more of like an actual smoothie texture. Like runny poo. But normally it's much thicker. Doggy! Hello! She just ran through it. Oh! Are you back? Are you back? What are you doing? Honey! Honey, my baby! I saw you down at Tesco. So I'm going to sit here, drink this, or scoop it with my spoon. Oh. Mm. And then I will see you when Sophia arrives in 40 minutes. And that's pushing it, isn't it? Yeah, but it. you can achieve anything you set your mind to. Oh my god, honey, scratch me. You, scratch me. I love Oh, I haven't seen her go that crazy in ages. This is where she likes to sit. You're right. Yeah, a bit, a bit panty after all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love you. Oh, hello, Bonnie. What a beautiful sight to see when I come down the stairs. Hello. Good morning. Hello, my princess. Hello, my princess. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Just licked all the moisturiser off my face. Guys, Bonnie sits on these chairs like she's human. She jumps up and sits on them. And she's eating... Oh, it's just a twig. Okay. So I'm just out here. I'm going to have a cup of tea. Um, and I guess we can chat. It's a gorgeous day. Beautiful blue skies. Here with my best pal. <sighs> I can't actually see. Can't see me, can you? No, I don't think Good. so. Good. I actually can't even see myself at the moment. <laughs> I have no idea. We should take advantage of being outside because people who have hay fever actually can't sit outside. I know, it's such without a shame. sneezing. I don't know if it's sort of getting past that hay fever time though. Because I know I can be a bit sneezy and itchy eyes, but mm. yeah. So you do have hay fever then? Well, no, I've, I have a few symptoms, but it's nothing severe. Severe. Yeah, but every time at that time of year, you just notice you sneezing. Some a bit people more do and... get hay fever really severely, don't they? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Have to have steroids and stuff to get yeah. rid of it. Yeah. 
very uncomfortable for them, isn't it? Mm. So we've come for a bit of peace because Bonnie's quite satisfied when she's outside. She likes nature. Don't be my sister. Listening to the birds. Hello. And whatever Hello. stones and twigs she can find. Oh, there's the birds in the trees. This is my dressing gown, guys. This is my, who remember? Well, oh no, did I talk? I think I spoke about this dressing gown. I got it for Christmas, didn't I? Yeah. This last Christmas, or yeah. I've and it from the white company. Very expensive it's from the white company. Um, it's got a hood. Oh, look at Bonnie on the seat. Ah. Oh, look, she's she sitting with you while she have your drink. Yeah. She gets her own chair. Oh, look. She's got a little pour up. Oh. Um. So yeah, this is my dressing gown, but um, basically Bonnie ripped it. To be honest, it's gonna get a pic for her Instagram. Bonnie yeah. has an Instagram. <laughs> A shameless plug. I think you should all follow it. <laughs> she nearly has, I think she has like 12,000 followers. What's she called? Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie the Blonde, yeah. I was had a hard time naming it. I was like Bonnie the Blondie, because we were going to call her Blondie, weren't we? We were. We had a lot of names for Bonnie. What did we have? We had Blondie, Sandy, Goldie. They're like Ruby. Ruby, Buffy, um, Fendi, Cookie. Um, what else did we have? Like v v vanilla, or we had something like that. Like yeah, we had all the sort of. We had a lot of names. So many. I really can't see, so I'm just gonna go in the shade. And really, we should have said called a cocoa because that would have been easy. Yeah, because sometimes we call her cocoa by accident. Cocoa Bonnie all the time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we had a hard time naming her because we were gonna get a black Labrador, weren't we? Yeah. And that was gonna be called Cola. We literally had the name, didn't we? We were like, yeah, we'll get the black one, we'll call it Cola, that will be it. But then for some reason we went with the blonde one. And we were thrown off. So yeah. we just didn't know. It's like, I imagine if you think you're expecting a boy Possibly. and you get a girl and it's like, well, what the fuck do we call it now? Yeah. yeah. Because you've had, you know, or because we had like weeks thinking we we're gonna have a, a Cola. And when we had Coco, we bought her uh, eight weeks. We didn't see her previously. Yeah. We just viewed her and bought her because she was ready at eight weeks. Yeah, we literally so. went for the first time to go and visit it when she was eight weeks. And eight weeks is the time where they can leave the mum, isn't it? And we yes. literally bought her there and then. Whereas Bonnie, we saw her when she was two weeks. So then we would go back like two weeks, maybe four weeks, five weeks. We'd go back like most Great. weekends yeah. to finally so then pick so her up. We had so much time on our hands to name her. To name her. Mm. That was like you. We were going to call her Daphne. Yeah. That was one of our top names for a while, but... Yeah. Daphne. Thinking about it now. Daphne. Daphne. Yeah. Yeah. It's not very... Daphne. When she bites you. Daphne. Yeah. But she did... I think she does look like a Daphne sometimes. Yeah. Anyway, um, Chintzy wants to go into town today. Are you close? What, shopping or just... Yeah, I'm not really sure. Eating? Oh, I'm going out tonight with my Jack Wills friends. Oh, that's right. I think we're going to Barasca. Well, I'd like so, to sit yeah. and chat, but I've got jobs to do, so I'm going to hang and watch you now if you don't mind. Any time, Fiona. You go and get on with your day. Don't let me hold you back. Don't let me in the vlog hold you back from getting on with your chores. That's something you'll have to learn how to do. In fact, do you want to have a go today? No. So, can't keep... I don't want to hang the washing out. I know how to hang the washing out. Who wants to see the rip in my dressing gown? That's what we got onto dressing gown talk for. Oh wait, where's the big one? It's there on that side. Yeah. Big hole. She's basically yeah. ruined it all. It used to be fluffy and now it's kind of... I'm gonna have to set it up. Anyway, so... I should probably put some makeup on then because it's half nine now. We're gonna make flapjacks today, weren't we? Yeah. Chintzy's okay. got a viewing at two, so I'll be back probably by half one. So we could do it this afternoon. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Hey guys, so it's been a minute since we spoke. Um, what time is it? It's nearly 11, so we're actually planning on going into town now, but um, Chintzy's waiting for an ASOS parcel um, so she can have an outfit. Um, so whilst I wait, I'm actually gonna go and get some petrol because petrol is always something that I forget to get. Like, I always forget that my car needs petrol. Then the light comes on and I'm like, oh yeah, forgot about that. So I'm gonna go and do that now. And then me and mum are gonna make flapjacks because mum wanted to make those today and now I have some time to kill. So I'll show you my outfit when um, I'm in town, but it's nothing special. 
I've got this necklace on. I'm not really sure if it goes with this outfit. I haven't worn necklaces in a long time, but it looks like this. It's actually quite long, but not sure if it really goes with this outfit, but I'm trying it. It's from um, Icy Season. They sent it to me. It's um, So their Instagram is at Icy, and then I think it's a... Um, you know, one of them, what's it called? A hyphen, and then S-Z-N. So they have gorgeous stuff on there. So they sent me this necklace and a few rings. No, I'm still not sure if it goes, I love the necklace, but I'm not sure if it goes with the outfit. I think it does. I think it's because I haven't worn necklaces in so long. So also I know you're gonna say, it's necklace, not necklace, but it is necklace if you ask me. So yeah, I'm gonna go and get some petrol. There it is, look, please refuel. And then I've got to get Demerara sugar. Um, I've just done really light makeup today because I wasn't really feeling it. This is just, someone commented the day saying I know nothing about makeup and I was like, okay, like I'm not the best at makeup, but I know something about makeup. Um, but this is just a Mac face and body, which is like a super lightweight foundation, but it's basically just like a really lightweight tinted moisturizer, just with like bronzer, you know, mascara and all that jazz. Anyway, did you guys know that? Probably not. Um, so I'm gonna go and get some petrol. Fun adult things. Hey guys, got the petrol. <laughs> got the petrol. It, I couldn't, I was gonna fill my car up because I don't usually fill it. I usually just put like 20 pounds in, but I got to like 50 pounds and it still wasn't full. And I was like, what the fuck? So I had to stop. But I'm sure I filled it up before for literally like 46. Because when it got past there, I was when it got to 40, I was like, okay, we should be slowing down now. 52, it was still going. So then I got paranoid that I was like doing it wrong and something was happening. How far did it get? Okay, it does say it's full, but it's not. Do you guys fill your cars up all the way or do you not? Sometimes you use more petrol if you fill your car up because it makes your car heavier, my granddad said. So if you fill it up, you almost use more petrol because your car's heavier just said the same thing twice but does that make sense to anyone it makes sense to me um and i got the demerara sugar is that even how you say it that's how my mum says it but she says everything wrong my mum calls a dressing gown a dressing down a dressing down not a dressing gown and i used to call handbag a handbag for the literally the longest time literally until i was about 15 i was like wait is it not actually handbag ah could i keep you there <laughs> no Okay, I'm gonna drive off. Bye. Button down for long enough. I know, I know. And I said, oh my god, oh my god. He said, look, don't worry. He says, I'll just put down there was a loose connection. He said, don't worry. Also, what I was gonna say. Oh my god, this door's so heavy. Sometimes I can't even open it. And um, my favourite petrol lady wasn't there, which is really sad. We usually, you know, give each other an ego boost. She usually asks me like, oh, what perfume are you wearing? And blah, blah, blah. And what bronze have you got on? Blah, blah, blah. And she wasn't there. She hasn't been there the past, lock the car, don't forget. She hasn't been there the past like two times that I've been to the petrol garage. So I hope she's not being fired. I mean, I don't see why. She seemed like a, you know, great member of staff. But um, yeah, I miss that woman. I wonder where she is. I don't actually know her name. Maybe I'll find out next time I go. Okay, so I is ready for the day. I struggled figuring out what to wear. I literally had no clue. I was literally changed about 15 million bajillion times because I'm waiting for an ASOS order today and I had hoped it would come in time for today's outing, but it hasn't. You know when it gives you that time slot? It's 12, between 12 and one, and it's like, we're going out at 12, so it's like, unless it arrives right now, will I be able to get ready? Anyway, I'm wearing shorts, which are from ASOS, which I cut before. These were long trousers before. This top from Misguided. Oh, honey. I've actually tied it at the back, so it's tighter. And this is a big shirt from Misguided. I've got ages ago, but... Uh, this is literally what I throw on this shirt when I have nothing to wear and then oh my god this bag is also from misguided so I'm thinking a triple denim with my trainers I've actually ordered some new trainers because I'm getting a bit just like these are the only shoes I wear like when I'm in England so I've ordered a pair of new Adidas trainers um to mix it up a bit hey do you want to say hello to the people say hello to the vlog no Okay, so Soph's coming in a bit, and then 
the viewing is at half one so we have one at half one today and one at half five so and then we've got some on tuesday and then hopefully we can make our decision next week so it's looking positive on flat hunting and um yeah i'll see you on a second oh, oh my god i mean these tripods are good but sometimes they're just not hey guys so i will try and show you my outfit <laughs> here um so i've got this blazer on which is from okay story about this blazer it's actually my favorite blazer lip gloss this is from asos um it's just called like a dab blazer it comes with i think it comes with matching trousers or actually that could be a different one this is the one which has like got pleated sleeves see the sleeve how it's a bit pleated well i always just roll them up anyway um and this is size let me check. Okay, let me have a look, because I actually don't know. Could be 10, could be 14. Okay, this is size 12, um, and it fits. It's pretty huge. It definitely covers the bum, but not too much. Let me jump and show you. Did you see that? That's how far it covers. Um, so this is the blazer. Also, yeah, this blazer actually comes with shoulder pads, but they were big shoulder pads. And I think because I sized up so much, it made them come, like, it made it look way too, like, it just didn't, there's, my shoulders just looked too wide with the shoulder pads. So I actually, I was actually going to send it back, but then I thought, but I love the colour, I like the material because it's really lightweight. So what I did was I cut the shoulder pads out. Um, so I would recommend buying this and just cutting the shoulder pads out. It was really easy. I just like cut a stitch. There's a hole in it there, look. And then you have to sort of like pull the lining out. Mum's back. Hello. And then, did you know I cut the shoulder pads out of here? Oh. <laughs> She's fucking gone. Hi, Bonnie. So then I just pull the material out and you put, cut, um, and you can get the shoulder pads out. And it looks so much better, I think, without the shoulder pads. Did you know I cut the shoulder pads out of this? No. Yeah. Oh, because wow. I was going to send it back because it made it look really boxy. Yeah. Because it's still got a bit of like padding at the edge, but it was big. Is this the one you've worn a few times or is it a different yeah. one? God, I'm being exposed. <laughs> it's the one that you always wear. Yeah, this is my favourite one. Oh, she just received it. Who knows? No, this is the one I always yeah, wear. Yeah, no, it's this lovely. This is the one it's I wore to your B-Day lunch. Oh, yeah. With the ladies. Yes. Um, oh, yeah. And then I've got this vest on, which I wore in New York, which is like from AYM. It's like a racer back vest. And then these shorts are from Zara. And how cool is this? My name's on them. Just oh, there. Nice. In neon you? stitch. This is from, and actually before we cut these, remember before I went to Coachella. Ah, ah, down. Before I went to Coachella, we cut these. I do, yeah. Because these were Zara, and I think they're called the B Bermuda shorts. Um, size eight, I got. But they were a bit um, chunky around the bottom. So we basically, yeah. and they were a bit long. So we basically yeah, cut them. So they're very, um, so they're basically very uneven. But that's okay, just roll them up a bit. But yeah, these are from, you can do this with jeans at Zara. It's from the, um, it's, I think it's called the edited line. Bunny they do it in denim jeans, denim shorts. I've got my pair of denim jeans, so like love on them. You can get stitching like here, back pockets, in like black, neon, pink, red, like loads of colors. So you can personalize them. It's a bit to do that. Well, you, you have to personalize them. It's not extra. Oh, is it not? They do oh, a line at Zara, like the edited line. And like you, cause I didn't want to really personalize the jeans. I was like, I don't really know what to put no. on these jeans, but you have to personalize them. But yeah, I would have got my name on the jeans, but the, on the website, it was a bit confusing. So I basically did it wrong. So I didn't really want what I've got on my jeans on my jeans. But anyway, I really like what I did here. But then the trouble is if you get your name on them, you can't exactly like pass them on to other people because your name's no, on them that's the thing. and you can't return them either no. because obviously you've personalized them with your own stitching so it's a bit risky but um they, this stuff fits me well so you can use me for size reference um oh hello she likes to be up on the countertops i think she likes to see what's going on oh she's so happy now oh there she is. There she is. There you are, darling. Just what you wanted. Moment of glory. 
Hi guys. Time to shine. Hi High guys. Five. Yes, clever girl. Yeah, there we go. Okay, bye. Um, so we're gonna make some flat. Guess how much the petrol was. One. What do you mean? For the how much? Tank? I have... No, it or wouldn't. I, I didn't meter. even fill it up because I got to a point where I was like, okay, this is too it's much. It's quite expensive. Did you get a co-op one? Yeah. Yeah. Guess how much? So did you put in? Well, it depends yeah. when you stopped filling. No, well, but, okay, well, basically, well, it's it price got, per litre that you look at when you go to the garage. Well, basically, it got to fifty pounds and it wasn't full yet. Yeah? Oh wow! And I'm sure I filled it up before from scratch, and it only took me to like forty six. Yeah, but well, yeah, I got to fifty, so I stopped because I was like, this is getting ridiculous. Fifty pound for petrol. Yeah, it's for so a little car that. like that. So. This is Fiona's famous recipe, which is actually from the back of a, a porridge <laughs> box. It's just so easy. They are really good. And mm. they're, we make them vegan. So what's in them? Butter, so vegan butter. The demerara sugar that we just purchased. Golden syrup. And then Scottish oats. And then ginger. Oh, yeah, just any porridge oats will do. Can take and the I put um, uh, raisins in and cherry. Oh, I don't like raisins. It's a bit more interesting. Are we going to put them in this time? Yeah. Great. Don't put me on. <laughs> Would you like to have your own channel, Fiona? Yeah. <laughs> no, not really. Outfit of the day, Marks and Spencer's t-shirt. The American people won't know Marks and Spencer's, I suppose. Will they? I don't think there's many Americans watching. Oh, I think this is mostly work. UK folks. They do I don't really check on stats. So we're going to make these flapjacks and they're super easy, super quick in the kitchen. And very tasty. No spending £1.85 on a granola bar. True. Yeah. That's why I make them, make them for camera. Oh, I've got he's those always stopping as well. Let me remember to make those. He's always stopping at the garage. Right, so how much? 125 grams. In fact, you do it, though. That's why don't we do it? it? I thought this was Fiona's cooking and no, I was watching. You need to know. Why? I know how to do it. I just don't feel the need because I'm going to eat my yogurt. These are the best yogurts, by the way, guys. Not the cheapest, I have to say. How much are they, Mum? A pound? Yeah. Sometimes so a pound per yogurt's pretty pricey. Sometimes you get them on offer, don't you? They don't sell them in like packs of four, which is a shame, but look how high she gets on the countertops now. Look how big she is now. You want to see, buddy? That's crazy. I think she just likes to watch. She does. Because it must be quite hard being down there because from just being on the floor, you can't really see, all you're going to see is people's feet and people's calves. So, people's knees. throw in the sugar. Ginger's FaceTiming me. Hello? Oh. You're on my vlog. Just been informed that I have the time wrong for that first viewing. Oh. And it's at half one. <laughs> so maybe... Are we going to be pushing it? <laughs> for my parcel, should we just get the ball rolling? Well, and now I'm currently making flapjacks. Oh, right, no problem. So, <coughs> what time's the viewing? Half one. Well, I can pick you up at 12. <coughs> Bye. Right, ASOS haul, let's commence. Yay, this is what, everyone watch. Honey, pay attention. Look at her, she's like, what's happening? Honey. There we go, okay. I should start with me, there we go. Right, first thing. You can't have a knee, a knee. Honey, do you like these? So, trainers. Bobby. No, these are for me. But I'm ordering the ones for your birthday. Wait, you didn't order any? No, I'm gonna they do it. They were in your basket, they were in your Yeah, basket. but I'm gonna do it in a separate thing, because. <gasps> that is so rude. Don't worry. <gasps> Ooh. Oh wow. What do you think? Do you like them? I like Everyone? them. I like those. These are called Magma Runner W. I just like the different, you know, like stripey bit, you know, for something different than just my plain white uh, ones, you know? Yeah, mum wants these orange suede Adidas trainers mm -hmm. for her birthday. Yeah. And they're on sale, so we're gonna get her those. Okay, this oh. is, okay, this is a blazer set that I got, a blazer co -ord. Wow! Mum, look. What's this for? Mm. Just for just for life. Life. Yeah. 
A pink blazer, utility blazer. I like that. I had to get size 12. That looks like a safari pink safari yeah, jacket. Yeah, but that's fun. It looks cool. I had to get size 12 because that was the only size left, but I think it's nice and oversized. Yeah, okay. Give her a bit of breadstick. Yeah, she's allowed breadstick, isn't she? Mm. Give Don't give her hummus. No, oh, she's not spicy. Some... Okay, but spicy. She can have a bit of hummus. Okay. And then these are the matching shorts. They're just like oh my god, I can't wait to wear shorts that. like that. I cannot wait. So to I might wear that. that tomorrow in Manchester. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Eee. This is fun. I feel like I've not ordered clothes in ages. Okay. Then I just got this blue. Wow. Satin slip dress. Which I just thought would be cute with just like either this denim shirt over or like a white shirt. Okay. Oh my god, with the denim shirt. And it like all ties at the back. It's a nice day night outfit. Really cute. I really enjoy that. That was ASOS. I'll link all this down below because that's something you can sort. Ooh, this is fun. I like I this. Okay. Can this you is a silky shirt. Ooh. Which looks a bit like a pajama shirt. Very nice. Honey, do you like? You just want hummus. Do you like? Look at it. Oh yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. No, honey, you already had. I like that. I think I got size. I got size twelve in that because I wanted it massive. Uh, and yeah, it, nice. it looks nice. So what would you wear bottoms with that? Denim shorts. Yeah. Or I was thinking like little white cycling shorts. Very with nice. trainers with my new trainers. I like that. The sound of that. Next up, okay, I just got this basic. I think this was literally five pounds. Just like a white vest. So that could, I might do this with um, the pink award. The pink blazer and the pink shorts. That's what I was thinking for that. Um, that is a running top for Lewis. Lewis got some things in this. Those are running shorts for Lewis. Did you get me anything? This is a running top for Lewis. I know. Excuse me. Um, madam. Madam. Okay, this is fun. I'm going now. You've just upset me. Oh, That's what so is she sad. doing? She just went for my breadstick. You went for it. Honey, sis. She just went for my breadstick. Honey. Honey. Oh, oh. This Honey. mum. Look at this. Oh my oh, god. What's the a cor It's a black corset crop. I love this. How nice is that? Mmm. Wow, okay, I'm obsessed with that. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> Last thing, this is sad. This is one of the best things. Oh, Let's give some whoa. Whoa. whoa, okay. These are like pleather joggers. They're like joggers. Like okay, on the website, they looked a bit more leathery, but in real life, they're more like Glittery. shiny. Um, but they're like, I think they're quite cool. For, I feel like you'll have to see. Look, yeah. for like drinks. Nice. Yeah. They look a bit long, yeah. but we'll see. They were quite expensive. They have a matching blazer with them, but I didn't get the matching blazer because I wasn't sure. Mm. But I think that would be too much. Yeah. yeah. But overall, I'm quite happy with those purchases. Is that everything? Can't wait to wear the pink set. It's gorgeous, huh? No. I'm actually just going to quickly going to try this black corset on. That's gorgeous. That. Yeah. I love the I've had it. Very hard to see the, I've had it in my bag for ages. Oh, Honey, oh, don't look at my tits. boobs. Oh, I've what? had it in my bag for oh, so tits. long. Oh my god, here we go. Oh my god, this is talent. Honey, you can link that if you want. There you go. Oh, does it fit? Okay. Oh. Does it look nice? <gasps> I love it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why it it fits so lovely. Why is it got a mark on it? Where? What the fuck? Oh, that was just my makeup. Oh. Yeah. It's so nice. It's like jersey. No more now. I really like it. This is like a nice top to wear with denim shorts on like a night out. Love that. 10 out of 10 for me. I'll link it all down below. ASOS, it's it's, I think ASOS is my favourite right now. ASOS and Misguided are my favourites right now. Got a nice little nectarine snack, they're in season everyone. I suggest you go and get yourself a peach or a... 
Mmm. What have we got? Well, Mary's got Pro Top Tail Crisps. And these are my favourite. Next, Shireen and Prawn Cocktail Crisps. Should we try them together? Make a fun food combining. Uh, you know, uh, Prawn Cocktail Crisps are actually vegan. No actual prawns in them. Fun fact of the day. Okay, so the flapjack is here. Da -da -da -da. Smelling beautiful. How long did that take? So it actually takes 20 minutes. Yeah, not 15. Rest for 15. And then we, we slice it up. it up. So I'm going to eat that when I get back. Um, oh, it would be nice with a cup of tea, actually. Yeah. Very nice. Um, so I'm going to go and pick up chintz. It actually looks like it's going to rain. But it doesn't say so. I've been but it's, the yeah, it's not forecast to rain. Um, she's asleep, finally. Finally managed to tire her out, sort of. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go and pick up Chintz. We've arrived at Woohoo! Chintz's house. It's I uh, was just telling her, I literally went into town. I was on like autopilot and then I was like, fuck, I forgot to pick her up. So I had to come back. So it actually looks like the rain is clearing up. I mean, I'm seeing blue skies. It was literally torrential. It was only 30 seconds. You had torrential? It was torrential for 30 seconds. Oh, I didn't have torrential at it all. It was torrential. Oh, I had pitter patter. Oh, no. was it you around there and it was pitter patter? No, literally there in my garden, like on the things, it was like what the big fuck? clumps of rain. I've not seen like any torrential, rain. and I've literally been like around. That's crazy. You see, well, you see, look, the clouds the are clouds, moving so quick. Yeah, they are. But at least it's it's blue sky over there. So yeah, it is. I'm holding out. So we're gonna go into town. We are. What do you need in town? Anything? I need... I could do with a new Kiko powder because I smashed my yeah. smash. I need some... Um, I'm going to hold this so I can get yeah. on the road. I need some um, vanilla protein powder. Oh, got it. Where are we getting that from? The health Holland and Barrett. Oh, okay. Holland and Barrett. They'll have some. I mean Holland and Barrett in ages. I fucking love Holland and Barrett. I think it's one of my favourite just places to go in, really. I really don't shop there anymore. I just so. enjoy it. Like... I like going in for, I like looking at their new snacks. Yeah. Because they always got nice new snacks, but I've actually run out of protein. And the, uh, that was a chocolate one, but now I want vanilla. What about the strawberry? I'm just, I know you like strawberry. Oh yeah, like, you're not into strawberry. I'm not a fan of fake fruit flavors. Sorry, I forgot. Like I'd rather make a smoothie with real strawberries. Yes. And put like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I don't know. Like, I can totally like, relate. You know, like I like gummy sweets. Did you guys see Lion King last I night? I did. Oh my god, how was it? it did was, you like it? It was very good. Oh, it's so I was good, very emotional. It? Like I don't know, just like it was like just even the weird parts that made me cry. Yeah. Like oh, I didn't even so cry good. when Mufasa died. I cried when. Oh. I, oh my god. Yeah, like I was. How can you not cry at that? I was thing? trying to cry, but I didn't cry. What the hell? I cried when Nala found um simba and then they were like falling in love yeah that's when i cried oh interesting when they were like well, playing like the happy bit yeah like when they were playing and yeah. were, like that's when i cried and then i couldn't stop for about 20 minutes and then yeah interesting yeah i was in a weird headspace weird headspace but yeah i thoroughly enjoyed that anything else you need in town nope i'm trying I'm to think for your support for your company yeah thank you I'm trying to think Excited for your flat viewings. Yeah, I think this first on one. Agenda? I think this first one we're seeing is pretty ugly. It's not, oh. not my favourite. Oh. So I'm going in with the, with the mentality that I don't like it. It might surprise you. Though. True, exactly. That's why we're seeing it. But there's one on Tuesday that I love. Okay. I'll show you where. It's really nice. Really. It's the nice. one that was slightly out of budget. This one is slightly out of budget, but not as much right. as the other as one the I other really one. love. So I'm pining for this one. It's really nice, spacious, two yeah. floors, big. Okay, fingers crossed. Two floors? Yeah. Wow. Oh, so, oh yeah, because it's still, still going to be the three of you. Yeah, yeah. so there's going to be nice space. Mm. Um, oh but, wow, two floors, that's so cool. Um, yeah, so we'll see. Oh, it's definitely brighter over here. Yeah, I think we're fine on the rain, because I was going to grab an umbrella, but then I didn't want to carry it. Are you going to Manchester tomorrow? I have no idea. Well, I've done an ASOS order. Uh, oh yeah, I actually bought I, some ASOS trousers. There you go. Some Adidas trousers, but they haven't arrived. Oh, uh, uh, those ones! 
which one? The one, wait, are they like the actual formal trouser things that they've got on there? No, I didn't buy those. Oh, you see, I wanted the lilac blazer. Yeah, me too. I said that in my vlog. I saved it. Me then too. when I went back to buy it, it had gone out of stock. And it was expensive, wasn't it? It was. And then 85? Yeah, and then the black one came back in stock. But I was like, I don't need a black blazer that yeah. just has Adidas on. I was like, yeah. I'd get the lilac one because it was special. Yeah. But they had a good deal on ASOS last night when it was like, if you spend 125, you get 20 pounds off. If you spend 175, oh. you get 30 pounds off. Oh, missed that. So I got 30 pounds off. It's pretty which good. Which is about. I think I saved like 20%, so it was basically like if there was a 20% off code. Yeah, okay. But yeah, I, I kind of want that Adidas blazer. And I got some new Adidas trainers. Oh, have you got those multicolored ones? I really want the multicolored ones. Well, the, for Pride. Uh, no, they're not. They're not. They're like um, not multicolored. They're almost like orange, light. Got oh shit! They've got a bit of yellow. Maybe. In. Do you know what? Maybe I've seen them. I really want those. Ones. They've got these they're new ones on with list. a zip. And I was a like, zip. you know what? They look quite cool. They were like lilac with a zip. Oh, I saved them. I'm thinking about it. I'm like, eh. did you see that Reebok lilac dress? No. They had this like Nike ribbed little dress as well, but it was out of stock. Oh. Had some really good that's stuff, a, but it was all out, out of stock. stock. That's when I was looking on Misguided. I saved a few things, but a lot of the things I wanted were out of stock. It's such a shame. Eh? I need to get some other bits from Misguided for that thing. Are you going to get more from it? Yeah, because I've I've literally didn't even think about what to wear for the thing. Yeah, maybe. I I like, I've literally just got like some silly crop tops that just aren't going to work. Yeah. We're going to we're going to Liverpool next week. That's Liverpool. interesting and new. Liverpool. Last time we went there was literally two years ago. Oh, we had the best night. It was actually one of the best nights. But we haven't really seen it in the day. But I don't remember really. Did we? We went into town after, but quite briefly. I don't remember. We really did go into. Much. We did go to like. I'm surprised we didn't vlog that weekend. Me too. Far away from How us. long is it going to be on the train? Like, At least two hours. Remember we saw Jacob on the train? It's two hours to Manchester and then it's further for Liverpool. Oh, for like, it's going to be so yes. long. I think it's like two and a half. I think it could even be like three. You know? Shit. I'm going to have to make sure we don't forget our headphones on that trip. And our snacks. And our snacks. Okay, I'm happy and, to send And there better be a charger. Oh I my god, hate there it better be a charger. because you no, know when it's not because the train to Manchester is always a oh shit train. Oh my god! Because you know it? when we're on the way back and we don't and there's and we're di our phones are dying, dying and there's no charging port. Oh for God's sake! Just getting a shot for Insta. This is back. this is our this, this is, is our chosen backdrop. Like oh, I just felt a raindrop. I'm literally feeling raindrops. For fuck's sake! Every fucking time. Honestly. I thought we'd escaped it. It was actually sunny this morning. It was, it was actually. It was blue. 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 Right, let's get this done quick. It's cover. chucking it down. It's chucking it fucking down. Like every. Should we actually take cover for a sec? Because it might blow over. Oops. Might blow over. I know this is like an office. At least we got our pits. God, I hate England. <laughs> Yeah, we did get some. I see BA for the rain. It's such an inconvenience. Me too. I said it before and I'll say it again. We're in shorts. I'm literally in shorts. And now, like, my nipples are showing and I'm like freezing, you know? People have got But the annoying thing is, I have an umbrella in my car. But the good thing is, is that I didn't curl my hair today. Because what? Yeah, me neither. Would have been a fucking waste of time. This camera's not getting damaged, getting wet. No. Might put you away for a sec. All right. We're in Zara. We've made it to Zara. The rain's kind of surpassed. Tretch. Tretched through the hurricane. Yeah, what is the word? We've tretched. Trekked. Trek. Trekked. But no, I'm thinking oh, oh, about I was getting thinking this. About torrential. Oh, I can see the confusion. Yeah. I might get this for a sack. That. How much is it? Just for holidays. It's 25. Oh my god, bargain. It's quite bargain. a cute beach. 100%. Bag. So I might. I'm gonna see what it's like in the mirror. I think you should get that. I have um, too many like, like straw bags. Yeah, see, I don't have any straw bags. So I have, like too many. But, so. Oh, they're nice. Oh. oh, I've seen these online. Oh, I love those. How nice are they? But I think I have some white strappy ones, but these are But nicer. these lace up. These are nicer, 38. 29. <gasps> For Santorini. I really like them. Go on then, you're coming home with me. <laughs> I'll take you. Oh, they're my going out heels. Oh, they're nice. The comfiest heels ever. I wore these to the premiere. So comfy. We're in the good old Holland and Barrett. I'm getting this. Even though I said I don't like the chocolate one, I'm going to give the vanilla a whirl. Because I think vanilla is easy to execute. And vanilla, you can, it's not as powerful like, as chocolate. Because yeah. I think chocolate is like, chocolate is such a specific flavour. But vanilla is just like a bit of vanilla pod. Yeah. Like, they can't go wrong, really. No. Vanilla okay. seems more vague of it, a flavour. It seems easier that to execute. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hippie peas. 
boots time we're in boots we're going to the fenty counter because we want to get them to do our makeup we do for our little um challenge bits. there's no number to call because so it's like a thing. let's hope there's like a woman here who can i'm sure i've seen a woman with a little fenty a small, thing on like counter i'm not sure if they would do a makeover i know but oh, there is a fenty see? woman okay yeah. let's find out Hi, so me and Sahir have departed. We've just seen a flat. So Lewis is doing a bit of work with his laptop, but the flat, it was nice. From the pictures, it was the one that we were least excited about. Like, uh, it looked a bit ugly. Um, and in person, it was more pretty and bigger, and it's actually an option. Right? It's, it's, yeah, it's an option. It's an option. I'm considering it. I'd have a whole room for clothes. That's this is the goal. A whole room for a rail Selling point. and clothes and which can be a filming room just like Chintzia's lair. Where I do my makeup, get a vanity, lights, I've got big mirrors. I want to do it up all night. So that's the vision. Uh, but yeah, overall I'd give it a seven out of ten. 7 out of 10 but we're seeing another one later so I'll show you a bit more of that I just got a matcha latte it's a little bit hot mm. a bit bitter it needs some sugar but I don't really want to put sugar in it Lewis drinks black coffee just ice it's disgusting we'll see you soon en route to flat viewing I'm feeling optimistic and excited about this one so fingers crossed we have arrived we're about to go in I'm very excited I like this area so that's a positive uh, I'm just gathering my things see you in there I'm not gonna I don't know if I'm gonna show you like a lot I don't know because what if I but if we get it then I want it to be a surprise so I'm just gonna maybe just keep my reaction show you a few sneak peeks It is right. furnished as you see, and I have to say, you won't put anything else in. That's fine. So, if that's... Yeah, I think we'll probably... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's unusual, topsy-turvy. It's not for everybody, but uh, some people really love the design. Flat update. Wasn't our fave. It's kind of on par with the one we saw earlier. I'm not mad about it, but I'd live there. But I'm still pining for the one we're seeing on Tuesday. Yeah? Hello, everybody. Um, so, when we, when did we last speak? I have no concept of when we last spoke. Oh my god, my eyes. Um, when did we last speak? I literally don't... Was it in town? Surely not. It was the last thing I vlogged when I was in town. That was a long time ago. It's now um, five. I've been here since about half one um editing this uh vlog week day two which you saw yesterday um okay so now i can go and have some fun um i must have got these in and i'm going to meet my friends for dinner and i'm really excited because i haven't seen them in eight actually i did see them um i'm just gonna put this tripod on i literally saw them last week but as i was kind of saying on monday um i was very intoxicated so i don't actually remember having a conversation with any of them. Hence why we're doing this dinner because we were like, oh, we all saw each other, but we didn't really see each other. So now we're doing this. So we're going, oh my God, look at my face. Anyway, so we're going for dinner and then, but I'm actually meeting one of the girls a bit earlier. Um, actually in literally 15 minutes. Shit. Um, because I think the two other girls are at work. So we're waiting for them to finish work, I think. Um, but so yeah, I'm meeting Kira. One of them's called Kira. I'm meeting Kira, yeah, pretty soon. So I'm gonna get a move on. Um, but that's what I'm up to this evening. So I will show you. I'm not sure if the girls will want to be on the vlog, um, but hopefully they do. But I don't know. I'll have to see about that. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for this to export. And then, oh, also, he wants to see a picture of my brother pulling a truck. He wants to see this. People say like you never see my brother. I know you don't, but here he is. This is him pulling a truck. He's been doing these like um, strongman competitions. There it is, look, look at him go. Um, yeah, he actually came second. It, yeah, he came in second place in one that he did 
last week so he's taking it quite seriously um but yeah he's not on he's literally on no social media which oh, i kind of think is amazing but yeah he just doesn't do it which is kind of cool i suppose um so yeah but he's called cameron He's two years older than me. Why am I Why am I telling you a story about him? He's moving out at the weekend, apparently. He's supposed to be moving out for literally like the past year. He's had this house just sat there and he's not moved into it yet. Um, he's moving in there with his girlfriend. Actually, really exciting. So at the end of this month, me, Christian, my brother and Cam's, my brother's girlfriend, she's called Grace, we're all going on holiday together and I can't wait. It's gonna be like the four of us, like a whole double date, whole squad. Um, trip so i'm really excited that's going to be so much fun so that's at the end of august so yeah i'm really excited for that um okay so i'm gonna go and get ready oh, i've actually had a misguided parcel so that's fun but i'm gonna go and get ready and then do i take a makeup off and do it again no i'm not gonna have time i'm just gonna get ready put an outfit on and then we will we'll catch up hey guys i'm just getting to town i'm wearing the same blazer necklace different top that i had on earlier i'm just going to juni also, I'm public vlogging by myself, which is scary. Um, but I'm going to Juni. They do the best iced coffee in a wine glass. Kira actually is supposed to be behind me somewhere, but I can't see her. But yeah, and I've just got these black joggers on. That's it, because I couldn't really be bothered. Hi. We just come to eat food. Lewis wanted dinner and he's craving sushi. And then I was like, why don't we go to Browns? Because I want some healthy fish. But now we're here and we're having sushi. Lewis likes a lot of chicken things, a lot of fried chicken, Korean chicken things. I've got some um, of this. I've ordered pumpkin katsu, which is my fave, and there's a lot going around on the belt, so I feel like we've got a lot of choice here today. So I'm quite excited. I've already had some edamame, one of these, all right. It's adding up, it's stacking up. What's our Yo Sushi record of price? Eight, £83. Is that just the two? Yeah. Just the two of us, 83, that's disgusting. Pumpkin katsu is so delicious. Lewis has got like the cream fried chicken, bit of nudes, some chippies. He's having a naughty day today at Yo Sushi. Lewis has given up, he's not a big boy anymore. He's gonna have to take this home in a dolly bag. Look how many we've conquered. That's mostly me, Lewis can finish his. But I'm enjoying Yo Sushi very much, I've missed it. Do either of you want Lewis's leftovers from Yo Sushi that he couldn't eat? Mar? It's noodles and a katsu burger. Just leave it, we'll have a little. Okay. Presents. There you go. Hey, honey. No, don't leave me. Come back to me. Please come to me. Right, I want to talk to you about that flat. It was nice, like I liked it. Like I had a good feeling from it. It was in such a nice area. And like inside it was like clean and nice and it was like nice furniture. Cause the one we saw all earlier in the day, I know I didn't um, film it, but it was so fucking dirty. And I know that's not like the estate agent's fault. Obviously it's just like the tenants there, but you know when it's so dirty like that and you can't really visualize it and it kind of smelled a bit and it was kind of hot and it all just clouds your judgment but in but then looking at it like without that like it was a great big space and that's what we need and that there was plenty of space because we're moving in with lewis's best friend as well um and i think there was a lot of space because we want a three bedder so i can have a separate room for like filming and like clothes so i can have this whole room for just like me and like where I can get ready and just like mirrors and like where I can plan outfits and just like a chintzy room which I can't wait for yeah so we can have lights and then we can film in there if, if we ever need to just a nice space 
because then obviously I'll be sleeping in the room with Lewis. So it's like I've got two rooms. It's just going to be perfect. But the one we saw this afternoon, the the first one we saw was a three bed. It was big. It was nice. We None of us loved it, but like we could live there. Like it was big enough. It was fine, but it wasn't like this is the one, you know, like we haven't had that yet. Uh, and then the one we saw this afternoon, it was just a two bed. So that's fine, as long as there's still room. Obviously, I just won't have my little chintzy room. Um, but it just wasn't hitting the spot. Like, it was a lovely area. But, like, it was so clean and tidy as well. And, like, the interior was beautiful. But it just wasn't... I don't know. There was just something about it. But, and it was two floors as well, which was nice. And I, I like that. But, yeah, it just wasn't... I want to walk in and be like shit shit you know what i mean but the one we're seeing on tuesday i know i keep going on about it but i think it's going to be the one i just have a feeling it's in a great location it's three bed it's two floors it's massive and it's on the more expensive end but do you know what i mean it's going to be a bit nicer so i just hope that we all like that one and that it's actually nice if not we're gonna have to actually there's another one that we like which we still need to see which the Landlords are being a bit tricky with, like, just for us seeing it and stuff. Um, but hopefully it all works out. But, oh, we're seeing another one on Friday as well somewhere. Where's that one? But, yeah, it will all work out. And I know what will be will be. Everything happens for a reason. The universe has its own plan for which flat I'm meant to live in this year. I'm excited. I'm excited to move out and, like, have a new adventure. Like, I feel like I'm ready. Like, I feel like it's the perfect time. Like, I feel like a year ago, oh my God, I was not ready. I couldn't have. I was still a baby. I still, I don't know, I couldn't have imagined of moving out. And, but now, I feel like, especially moving out with Lewis, like, I couldn't live on my own, I don't think. I think that's one thing I I think, I, although I like being alone a lot of the time, I do get, I could see myself getting very, very lonely. So, hopefully, finger, everyone just say a prayer that, the flat we see on Tuesday is just the one because I feel like it is going to be the one. I feel like it is. Okay, so right now it's quite late. I know I was going to go to the gym and then Lewis like didn't want to go to the gym and then I was like, oh, okay, we'll go to sushi. And then now Lydia's gone out. Mariana doesn't want to go gym, so it's like, do I go to the gym on my own? It's a bit late though, or should I just go for a walk? It's quite a nice evening, or do I just like just go to the gym? I might just go to the gym. Just like go to the gym for half an hour, for 45 minutes. Because then I need to go to the gym in the morning as well. Well, actually, I'm going to go for a run in the morning because we've got a train at half eight. So I think, oh my God, I'm going to go to the gym, aren't I? Oh God. I'm going to do it because I'm just going to sit here all evening. So I may as well just like go. I'm gonna let my phone charge first, and then I'm gonna go. Okay. He is coming. He told me. Oh. He told me. Um. Actually, that's true because Amber told me he wasn't coming, but he is. Yeah, in the group chat, you was like, no. Yeah, but no, because um, I have log. Um, wait, let me turn this oh, off. <laughs> <laughs> no, he told me. Um, he told me that because Lawrence is apparently coming now. Lawrence. Yeah. What? I said, wait, Amber told me, Amber was like, yeah, Lawrence is coming, so it's going to be a great oh. night. And I was, I literally said, because she said to me, she was like, is Christian coming? Because Lawrence is coming. And I was like, no chance is Lawrence going to show up to this night out. Lawrence oh, said, like Lawrence is one of our, do you think he's going to mind my phone or something? <laughs> Basically, Lawrence is one of our friends. Uh, I'm here with Kira. Do you want to be on the vlog? She's beautiful. Mm. Everyone look at Kira. This is my shining friend. We've had these um, iced coffees and they come in a wine glass. So bougie. It's like cheers, bitches, wine glasses, and they're huge. I am a fan of those. Me too. They make it taste so much they better work. because it's coming out of a wine glass. Also, look at this tripod, it's kind of ugly. But yeah, basically, our friend Lawrence. Um, I can't believe that. Hopefully, he doesn't mind. He, mind you, he's never going to watch this, he's never going to know. Um, yeah, our friend Lawrence, we used to work with, he is all. Is it bad if I say this? Wait, what were you about to say? That he's just a flake. What does that even mean? A flake. No, I don't know. <laughs> like flaky, like you're so flaky. As if like base as if you know what flaky means. As I if it's someone it who like, like cancels all the time. Uh, like oh, no yeah, like yeah. I'm coming and then it's like no I'm not coming anymore. It's like you're a flake, like you're just peeling off at the last minute. Like an actual flake, the chocolate. Okay. 
Do you get it? I do get it, but I've never heard it. But I don't think it'll come. Anyway, so he's our friend and he always says like, yeah, I can't wait to see you guys. Do you know what happened to me the other day, right? He messaged me, he literally messaged me and um, actually this was like a few months ago and he was like, oh, like so good. Hope you two are like, I think it was a picture of me and Christian. He was like, oh, I hope you two are well. I was like, yes, let's meet up. Like, yeah, and he was like, yeah, definitely. Well Christian, yeah, so I was literally, so he was like, um, I was like, yeah, let's meet up. He was like, yeah, for sure. I was like, okay, so I'm free here, here, here. Like, when are you free? And he just saw it and didn't reply. I was like, you fucking twat. <laughs> so that's so so what I'm like saying. Like, he's all like, yeah, I'm gonna come. And then he never shows up. Me on Instagram. I think. He unfollowed you. He's got like, what's his name? Interesting. He doesn't follow you. <sighs> the shade of it all. What a shady bitch. As if you wait, you unfollowed him. <laughs> Actually, I think I unfollowed him before he unfollowed me. Uh, I didn't know if he was about to track his followers. Yeah, me neither. He never mm. even posts. God, God, We're so going to ask Amber about that. <laughs> Excuse me, I've got a bone to pick with you, Lauren. Interesting. I've never been on a night out with him. He gets so drunk. I went on that night out little. where I had to take Connor to the A&E. Oh my, when he got punched. Yeah, when he got I punched. <laughs> Oh my god, he literally got put. It was so funny. I mean, it's not funny, but I had to take him to A&E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, oh my god, and he literally was like bleeding. This. And um, that's the last time. Because <laughs> er, slightly earlier, Lawrence got dragged out because he was so drunk. I didn't go that night. No, I did. You did? It was after a meal, wasn't it? Yeah, after that yeah. shit meal. Like, yeah. um, Can't even choose. No, it was Pizza Express. Because we all went to Pizza Express and like night out, looking like absolute slags. In this restaurant. Oh, we're at the yes. back of Coco Tang. Yes. Because Lawrence and you guys yes. don't know who any of these names are, but Lawrence and Alfie were upstairs like drinking red wine, like getting really drunk, I and then was, Lawrence came I down and was like falling punch, over. Though, I didn't stay out. I just oh, remember seeing it, <laughs> seeing it on social but media. I was so confused, and then there was the explanation as to why he got punished. I was like, oh. Yeah. What a palaver, hey? Send me stories. Um, anyway, I was just turning this on just to say hello, but we've turned into a whole conversation. This is also horrible lighting. Oh, that's a bit better, but I can't bother to I feel like in that mirror, it's okay. Yeah, that mirror's a bit better. But here... I can imagine on a camera it's very pasty. I mean, this camera's oh, pretty crap. Amber. Oh my god, Amber, do you want to be in my vlog? <laughs> Guys, this is Amber. We used to go to school together. We did. Oh, it's vlog week. Oh, hi. I'll turn this off now because I don't want people to feel uncomfortable. <laughs> so more proof that Lawrence is a ghost. I really hope he doesn't watch this. So the same thing happened to Amber just now. So Amber met, do you want to be on this by the way? Amber messaged Lawrence to say that, um, what did Are you, you say? Coming? Are you coming like, on the night out on Friday? Coming. And he's read it and not replied. <laughs> yeah. That's well, what no, he, he hasn't me. read it yet, but he's oh. it's been eight hours since I've sent this. I message. bet he read it and then unread and he, it. Yeah. He, he was on Snapchat. Snapchat. Oh, so he's he's on Snapchat. Snapchat. And like uh, slightly... Cheeky bitch. Mm. He's definitely not coming. Definitely... So Lawrence, if you watch this, you're a flake. <laughs> <laughs> but we still love you. <laughs> Honey, I did it. Where's my pants? Honey, they're my pants. They're my lounge underwear. That's my nice pants. They're my nice panties. Please, can I have them back? Honey, honey, it. please, baby. These are my nice pants. Honey, please. I'm still panting for my run. Honey, bunny, honey. So quickly before I go and disturb their sleepover. He remembers when we used to have sleepovers. Isn't that such a fun concept? I remember when Sophia used to come for sleepovers. So sweet, isn't it? What are you doing? What are you watching? Brooklyn Nine Nine. Is, we, is that what you watch at sleepovers? No, we're watching something about serial killers. Oh. Scared, but we'll finish it later. Oh, I wouldn't mind watching that. I like things like that. Okay, I'm joining in. Confession. Working on something. Can you see? I'm not going to say anything. But. Oh. That's all. I might be told off for that. So Sophia, if I'm not allowed to say to show that, but I think that's a fun sneak peek. But nothing soon. We're just working on these things. Hello? Hello. Mm, exciting thing. Hi, I'm still sat with the kiddies. I've got a handful of blueberries. And we're watching David Dobry vlogs. Aren't we? Aren't we? Sleepover time. When are we going to bed? How late are we staying up now? 
Cool. Sweet. What are the cool hand size these days? Gun fingers. How old are you now? 25? 21. You're 12. 12. Six years older than Twelve. 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 Twenty-five. Twelve. Twenty-five. How old's Lewis? Twenty-seven. Yeah. <laughs> Idiot. I've just been playing on my iPad. I'm watching the YouTubes. And then we've got a train at 8 47 in the morning to be precise. Off to Manch. Gonna have a fun day with Amy. The vlog's met Amy before. Amy came to Oslo and yeah, went to you, Oslo. And she came to Oslo with us. You went to Oslo? Yeah. When? In like February. <laughs> Great sister. Always keeping up to date. Um yeah, so if I don't do anything else, also I'm planning on going for a run before. So right. I need to be ready, but I need to leave the house at 20 past 8, right? So I need to be back from my... I need an hour and a half to get ready just because I'm going to have wet hair. So then that means I need to... Oh my God. I need to finish my run by 7. That means I need to go on a run at half 6 in the morning. So probably set my first alarm at six. I just don't think that's achievable. I always say I will, but fuck me. Because then it's like I could go in the evening, but I I I prefer working out in the morning, and then I just feel great all day. Like instead of just like thinking all day, I need to work out. I need to work out. So that means I need to set an alarm at. If I go to bed at midnight, then that's a solid six hours of sleep. Maybe it'll work. I will keep you updated. Mary, should I wake up at six? No. Don't say that. You see, so you're such a bad influence, Mary. Hi, guys. So we're at Bar Escot. Wow, look at this backdrop. Look at these greens. <laughs> Sounds like I'm in the jungle. Um, and we've had some starters. I'm actually quite full after that starter, and I've ordered a lot. So, slight issue. But also, guys, it's actually a fun fact. Did you know that Boraska is Ashkabesh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so basically, um, there's a restaurant in West Bridgeford called yeah. Ashkabesh. Yeah. And this is the it's exact the same, same thing, thing with the same menu. Mm. So, anyone that's in Knox, which is about 1% of you, <laughs> is the same restaurant. <laughs> Mind you, is it a chain? Yeah. Wait. Okay. I've never seen any anywhere else. Oh. Only in Nottingham. I mean, it's just... Okay? Great addition to the vlog there. <laughs> Amazing content. <laughs> um, so it's like a tapas place. So... It's quite slow service, not gonna lie. Um, and we're actually missing a flatbread. We actually ordered. Yeah. Gosh, is so generous, giving me her food. Uh, I'm actually really quite fucking pills before we've even started. Really? Anyway, so. I'm gonna stop making the night awkward. <laughs> and, like, away. Bye. God, how can I get disrespected by my baby sister, hey? My Thank you. I, I did plaits because you do plaits all the time. So this is what you look like when you've got plaits. Hi, Mariana. <laughs> this is what you look like when you have plaits. I just did them to get them out of my face. What, do you think we'll walk around with plaits like this? Are you mad? Will they dry them and make my hair all nice and wavy? You need to do it from the top. Oh. You're not French braid. Not on myself. I can on other people, all right. Uh, can you French braid on yourself? Yeah. I believe it when I see it. I've never seen you do that. But you just said you see me walking around with flats all the time. Yeah, but I've never seen them from the head. I've always seen them like this. <laughs> You're lying. <laughs> anyway, I feel fantastic after that run. Why are you coming with me next time? Really? 
Oh, not on a run. One day. I'm literally sweating. Oh my god, look at my face. I'm literally, it's so hot in here. Also, I'm still not sure about this chain. But I don't mind it when it's like that. Yeah, I like it when it's like that. But when it's down, I think it's too. It reminds me of like, I'm going on a gangster run. Yeah, and I'm literally sweating. Um, so we've had our meal. It was pretty, actually, it was not that good. I think I had like a bad choice of the menu. I was really ambitious, like, oh, I'm gonna pick this, I'm gonna pick this, I'm gonna pick this. And then I just wasn't, unfortunately, I just wasn't enjoying what I had. So, anyway, what was that run for? Now we're gonna get Join the bill. My car park's about to run out. Tune in for Friday. Gals are going on the night cell. <laughs> All the <big> people <laughs> Just silence, like. <laughs> um, so we're deciding what we're gonna wear because I feel like we have to all look semi-similar. Yeah. Like, there's nothing no worse. Actually, <laughs> because going on a night out and you're in a dress and heels and everyone else is in trousers. God, I am literally sweating. Um, and, uh, oh. oh, fucking hell, yeah. Look at that sweaty mess. Um, yeah, it's like the shine, isn't it? Also, my hand into my wash I need to fake tan when I get back. I need to scrub it off and redo it. If I'm wearing a dress on Friday, oh, I was going to show you guys the fake tanning routine. Maybe I'll do that on a different day. I'm not going to be too dark. Your face. What's your fake tanning routine, Kira? Um, what fake tan do you use? I have a bit of a tan. and brown. It's bronzer. Oh, oh yeah, good, I used a great to bronze trick. my legs. Oh my god, <laughs> really? We're gonna tan me. What? We're gonna tan me. Oh my god. Do you know what would make you like? Yeah, what would it be like? It'd probably be like, yeah, would you just go with different, brand. like, oh, orangey? The best one I use, Sun Trapez. I use Sun Trapez. Oh, it's called, like, instant glow. The water? No, it's like a phone, but it's not a touch, it's a glow. Brown, shimmery, so when it goes on, it's just... Would you recommend it? Yeah. Yeah. If you tanned already. If you tanned already. Oh, wow. Look at my nails. Um, Kira's got her acrylics off. And her nails are a bit of a state. Wow. It's going to close up. It's not even going to focus. So, I'm literally slaying. Um, so I think I'm going to end my vlog here. My phone has died. So that's sad. But um, yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. We were gonna go for drinks, but <laughs> it's late. It's late. Uh, we need to save drinks on Friday. We need to save drinks on Friday because we're all very hyped. I hope we haven't hyped it up yes. too much. No, we definitely haven't. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thanks for watching. I hope I'm a flat jacket spinner in this vlog. Aww. Oh, oh. I know. Um, so I will see you tomorrow. Have fun. Bye.